Hello and welcome to a new tutorial on ADF and today we're going to generate a UV vis spectrum and visualize excitation levels by showing the molecular orbital diagram. One application where this could be useful is photochemistry where you might want to know the excitation wavelength of your compound. So now we're going to start, we're going to go SCM, new input, to generate a new input. Now, personally, I like a black background, so I go to View, Background, and change it to black. Now we're going to draw a molecule, which in this case will be ethylene, which is two carbons connected by a double bond. Next up, we're going to add hydrogen to this molecule by going Atoms, Add Hydrogens. There we go. Now we're going to do some pre-optimization by clicking the gear in the bottom. Now that it has finished, we are going to do a geometry optimization by going to task, geometry optimization, and then run the file. File, run. Now we're going to name it. In this case, we will name it acetylene and save. Now it will run the file. It should not take very long since it's a very small molecule. And when it has ended, a screen will pop up to ask if you want to load the new coordinates. And we will press yes. Next, what we're going to do is we're going to change the task to a single point calculation. We're going to move over to the properties tab and click excitations. Next up, we're going to change the type of excitations to singlet and triplet. The other settings we can leave at their default settings and we are going to run the file. We are going to save the changes, yes, and now they ask us if we want to override our previous results, which in this case is not very important, but if you have done a previously long calculation, this might not be what you want. So you press no and then you go and save your file. And you're going to give it a different name, for example, UVVis, and save the file before you run it. This calculation should also not take very long. And when, we, when the calculation is finished, it will pop up with a screen to add, and we can visualize the molecular orbitals by pressing levels. Now this is the molecular orbital diagram where you can see the electrons that have to be excited into the empty orbitals shown here. Now if you want to view this in a spectrum, you can go to SCM and you can press spectra. Now you have a UV vis spectrum of acetylene with, different, with two different peaks with different wavelengths of light that excite the molecule. The first one 712 nanometers and the second one you can click here and it will show 145 nanometers for the second one for the second peak if you want to change the unit of the axis you simply double click on the axis and you can change the units to whatever you like if you want to do energy you can press kcal per mole for example and it will change the spectrum for you thank you very much for watching Leave a like if this tutorial was useful for you and please leave a comment to tell us what tutorial you would like to see next. Take care.